Welcome to the Liberty 5 training series. This training session will be on our trade feature. Trade feature is a way that you can add items into Liberty and give your people a choice to either take cash or take store credit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we want to do is get to our account list. Now that we got that open, we can find an account that we're going to mess with today. And today we're going to mess with account number five. Double click and open that up. <clears throat> on the left, you will see the buy trade button. On the right, you'll see the inventory tab. And you can see there's currently no inventory here. Let's go ahead and click the buy trade button. All right, so we have a regular interface here, just like adding a regular item. I want to show you something special. We're going to close out of this and we're going to set a setting for a touch interface. We're going to go to setup. We're going to go to options. We're going to have to log in with our administrator group. Log in. Let's go down to item entry options. And you'll notice here there's a checkbox for use touch interface for buy trade entry. We're going to go ahead and set that. And we'll click OK. All right, let's go back into the account here. Let's see what this option did for us. When we click the buy trade button on the left, you'll notice our interface is completely different. We have these large buttons. We can select our category one, two, and three, and we have our brand, our size, and our color, our attributes. At the bottom, we can click more if the attribute that we're looking for is not listed. <clears throat> so this is a different kind of interface. People find it very useful. Let's go ahead and log back in to our settings here. Let's go ahead and go back to item entry options. Let's talk about the differential here. Currently we have it set to 20% and it's set to additive. It can be toggled back and forth between additive and multiplicative. I'm gonna leave it on additive for right now. Click OK. Let's talk about the difference between the additive and multiplicative settings here. Let's talk about additive first. So we have an item, it's priced at $100. If we have a price code that has a 50-50 split, the cash value is $50. The differential as we've set it to 20%. So the trade value equals the cash value plus the differential. In this case, the cash value is 50. The differential is 20% times the item price. So with additive, it's the differential times the item price. In this case, that is $20. We add 20 to our cash value, giving us a trade value of $70. If the person wants to take the trade, they would get $70 for this item. That is the trade value. Let's go back to Liberty now. And let's see what would happen if we change this now to multiplicative. Let's go into our options. <clears throat> let's put our radio button on multiplicative. Hit OK. It's coming back here and process the trade. Well, let's talk about it first. Let me show you how this looks. Get up here. All right, so with multiplicative, okay, we still have an item that's priced at $100. And we still have the cash, same cash value, $50, because it's a 50-50 split based upon the price code. And we still have the same differential, which is 20%. But the calculations are going to be a little different here. Of course, the trade value does equal the cash value plus the differential, just like before. The cash value in this case is $50, just like before. But the differential is going to be different now. Here we're, tied, we're, we're setting the differential. It is the differential times the cash value price, not the item price, but the cash value price. In this case, that's $10. If we add $10 to the cash value, $50, we come up with a trade value of 60. So with an additive, we're going the differential times the item price, but multiplicative, we're going the differential times the cash value value. So that is a big difference and you can see the numbers are different. Let's go back into Liberty and see how it looks there. So I'm going to go ahead and process this baby and we can see how it's going to look. All 
All right, so whenever you close out a tab, it prompts us. And you can see here, we have the price at 100, we have the cash value at 50, and we have that trade value is $60. All right, let's go ahead and cancel this one so I can show you the um, additive. Let's go back and change our settings. Volumes admin again. All right, item entry options. Let's set this to additive. Click OK. Now we could just process this baby. So let's click the process button on the left. And here we could see how the trade value is now 70. Okay, we went through the calculations. You know how to do that now. So there you have it. If they take the trade, they're going to get $70 store credit. And we process this. <clears throat> now we can see in the transaction tab, we do have $70 store credit. There's nothing payable. This is only money that could be used in the point of sale. All right, so that concludes our training for today. Liberty 5, processing trade items. We went over a whole bunch. Um, how to do the touch interface and the difference between additive and multiplicative calculations.